Hey guys, this is Little Faith. This is the one, the little paralysed one. Remember, I had it out in the yard, couldn't even move, and then she started to move around. Well, she started going really well, but now she's eaten every toe off her foot. Oh, yeah. Now, what happens with this, guys, they get sometimes they get like a tingling feeling in their foot and they can't leave it alone. Then when they start biting it, they won't stop. And so she's eaten now every single toe she's got. And I can tell you what happens with this. Look how beautiful she is. She will have to, if she doesn't stop doing this, they'll have to be put to sleep because they just keep eating their leg off and it becomes a horrible infection. Like a phantom pain and, yeah. it, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll look into amputating, but, you know, I, I and <laughs> I'm trying everything to get, get her. I change this to, she rips it off. So I'm trying, yeah. I've got duct tape here. We're going to be duct taping it to her leg. But she's so good about it. Her toes are completely raw. She's not even trying to bite. Now, oh, if she no, bit, that's fair enough. You know what I mean? That's fair enough. Yeah, but no, she doesn't she's... even want to bite. She just, you know, a oh, poor little thing. She does so, make pain meds and she's getting antibiotics and stuff. And... Yeah, but this is a slippery slope for her. We had another one like this, guys, and we had to euthanize her at the end because she just would not stop eating herself. Anyway, it does happen. So if an animal has a stroke and has a tingling feeling, we had friends of ours that had a, um, a fox and it ate its whole leg off in one night. Just terrible. Okay, guys, see ya.